Hello everyone, so today we will be comparing JBL Tune 770NC versus Sony WH-1000XM4. So starting with the specification, if you saw about the spe specification, then you can see the drive size of your JBL is 40mm and your drive size of your Sony is 40nm. Bluetooth version in both having 5 and the weight of your JBL is 245 grams and the weight for your Sony is 254 Both grams. Both do not support uh, water resistance so they are not waterproof. So now talking about the battery life. So in your uh, JBL it is having ANC mode automatic noise cancellation. So when it is at off state then it is taking 50 hours for runtime. And if it is in on state, then it is taking 30 hours. On the other hand, in Sony, it is for ANC off, it is 30 hours of runtime. And in ANC on, it is having 30 hours of runtime. JBL approximately takes 2 hours for charging. And in Sony, it is taking 3 hours for fully charging. The next point is your sound quality so in jbl we are having a good sound quality uh, clear mids and highs are being are being uh, like visible and other than this it doesn't have depth of bass basically the sound quality is not uh, so uh, good uh, as compared to your sony as it is having a superior sound qualities and for that only they are known the most and uh, it is having a customizable sound profiles and also they are having a clear deep bass clear mids and detailed heights with excellent sound so in this uh, the sony is uh, having a good sound quality as compared to your jbl now uh, we are coming to our next point which is comfortableness and fitting of the bands so if i say the headband of jbl are comfortable well padded ear cups adjustable in headbands but as compared to your sony it is also having a comfort plus ear cups light weighted design and also they are very good for those who are long listeners basically they are listening the music with your head headset for long hours so this is a good choice for them coming to our next point which is anc active noise cancellation so in jbl it is having an effective anc in this price range but if you talk about sony then in this it is having a top tire anc performance often considered the best in the class so yeah it is having the most uh best quality of uh active noise cancellation process as compared to not only JBL but also apart from it different headsets also it is uh, uh, taking their green flags on the top because they are performing very well in noise cancellation process so they have a good software updated in them now we are coming on the next thing which is the price so your JBL is coming around 9998 and if we talk about your sony then it is coming in 20975 so if i conclude this as per the comparison or which one is your best choice then i will say in jbl 770 nc we are having a strong contender as in its in this price range and it is having a good performance, long lasting battery performance and also a good feature of ANC is good budget friendly option. And in Samsung WH-1000XM, you can say if you want to go for this, it is also having a superior sound quality, also having an ANC feature, overall comfort is to its advanced level. The the build-up is also quite attractive and good. But the main thing is it is on the expensive side. So if cost is not a matter for you, then definitely you should opt for Sony apart from JBL. Thanks for watching.